you can draw this in Procreate. Remember that cute bubble tea we created together? During this tutorial, we are going to create a little friend for him. I will be guiding you through every single step of creating this iced coffee. You don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate at all. We'll be using free brushes only, brushes that are already in the app and brushes from my Procreate treasure chest. You can get it by going to freefromflow.com. And once you have reached the end of this tutorial and you feel all proud of your work, then go ahead and share it. If you're sharing it on social media, on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image, not just in the description, because that way I will be able to find your work and maybe we'll see it in the next video. Just like these awesome results from my friends at Patreon. That's the place you can go if you want to watch even more Procreate tutorials. You can find more than a hundred. Now for this tutorial, we will be working on a canvas that is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels and the color profile is set to sRGB. And I have created a color palette for you, which I have linked in the description. So now let's get started. The first thing we'll do is change our background color. Let's go to the layer menu and then tap the background color here. And then we'll pick this first color in the color palette. Then we'll go and grab a brush. We are going to use the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And for our color, we are going to use this one over here. It's the fourth color in the first row. And to create the cup for our iced coffee, we are going to use the symmetry tool. You can turn it on by going to the wrench, then to canvas, and then turn on the drawing guide. Then go to edit drawing guide and then here at the bottom you see symmetry. Then go over here and tap done. And now whatever you draw on the left side will also show up on the right side and vice versa. I have the opacity of the brush set to 100% and the size is set to 34%. But in this case the size doesn't really matter if you like working with a bigger brush you can definitely do that. We are going to make a shape of a cup. We are going to start about here. Then we'll go down and make a rounded shape here at the bottom. I can see that it's not super tidy here at the bottom. So we can fix that by rotating our screen or actually our canvas, not our entire screen. And we can just go over and try to fix that a little bit. And you might need a couple of tries to get it all tidy. And don't worry if your cup is a little bit wonky, it'll give it character. And we will need another little bit of a rounded shape here at the top. Now we can do it like this, or if it's easier, then you can also again rotate your canvas. For me, it's a little bit easier to make this motion. So let's go and connect these areas over here. So you get something that looks like this. And don't worry if you feel like it's too broad or too tall. We can always change that later. Now once you have this, let's drag in the color to fill the shape. Next we are going to duplicate the shape. You can do that by dragging to the left on the layer and then tap duplicate. Now we are going to fill this layer with a different color. Let's go to the color palette. And let's pick this color over here. It's the fourth color in the second row. Let's drag it onto the shape. And you know, we are actually not going to use the symmetry tool anymore. So let's get rid of that vertical line. Let's go to the wrench, then to canvas, and then turn off the drawing guide. Next, we'll go to the move and transform tool. That's the little arrow over here. And here at the bottom, make sure you set it to freeform. And now we are going to make this shape a little bit smaller. You can do that by dragging the blue little handles. Let's pull it up over here and to the side over here and to the side over here. And let's go a little bit lower here, just like this. So try to make sure that it has that same thickness all over that, that cup we have created. And once you're happy, you can tap the little arrow again. Next, we are going to drag this layer underneath the cup layer. So you won't be able to see it anymore, but we are going to fix that. We are going to go to this layer one, tap it, and then turn on mask. Right now, the mask is fully white, so it'll show everything that is on this layer. But as soon as we start painting on this with black, we'll start masking things. 
Now let's go to the brushes and let's go to the treasure chest brush pack. Don't forget you can get it through free from flow. And now let's go to the dark noise brush. We are going to set the color of our brush to black. You can double tap here at the bottom of the circle. And let's make the brush nice and big. Let's set it to 55%. The opacity is at 100%. Now let's go over the cup and make sure that we can see our coffee. Go along the sides. And we want to make the center the most clear. We still want to see the outsides of our cup. So it should look something like this. Then we are going to switch brushes and we'll switch to the spackle brush. And I will switch to white. You can double tap in this area to select pure white. Now the opacity of this brush is set to 75% and let's set the size to 45%. And now let's go along the outside and bring some of that back. This is enough. I will go back to the dark noise brush and we'll stick with white and we'll set the size to 20% this time. And on this side, I want to create a little highlight, but only on this side. We don't want it on that side as well. So we need to turn off symmetry. Let's go to the layer, tap over here, then turn off drawing assist, and then tap the layer mask again. Make sure to do that, otherwise you will be painting on the layer and not on the layer mask. And now let's make a little line over here, a little bit diagonal. That's like the soft highlight on the cup. Now we're going to switch brushes again. Let's go up here and use the fine liner brush. Also part of the treasure chest. And the opacity of this brush is at 100%. And let's set the size to 25%. And now let's rotate our canvas. First we are going to make this top part brighter. You know what, we can actually turn Drawing Assist back on to make our life easier. We can just tap this layer first, turn on Drawing Assist, and then go back to the layer mask. Don't forget that. Now we can just go over here and we will need to do half of the work this way because we only need to do this on one side. So this is the top of the cup. And let's also make a little edge a little bit lower. So we'll start about here. And I'm making it a little bit sketchy with low pressure just to find the right line. And you can make it with more confidence after that. Sure that it's a little bit rounded here on the side. So something like this, let's turn it around. And I want to add some extra light on top of it. Let's go and grab that spackle brush again. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 10% and let's add some light here on top of that line that we have just created. Go back and make the brush a bit bigger again, 45%. And add some subtle spackles here on top. And now let's go back to the monoline brush. You can find it under calligraphy. Go to the monoline brush. And now let's make a new layer on top of this layer with the liquid. Let's tap the plus. And to make sure that whatever we are going to draw on this layer will only show up on our liquid, we're going to tap the layer and use clipping mask. And for our color, we are going to use this one over here, first color in the third row. 
and the opacity of the brush is still at 100% and the size is at 34%, still is. And now let's make some dripping chocolate. But just some drips, some a little bit longer. You can take a break halfway, no worries. And then just continue. This one is a little bit longer, has a little bit of wobbles. And then all the way to the right and then loop around make sure to close your shape and then drag in the color next we are going to make more layers first we'll tap the liquid layer and then tap the plus for a new one and now for our color we are going to grab this one over here the third color in the second row and now we are going to make wavy lines on our liquid start here and wave all the way to the right, loop around, close the shape, and then drag in the color. Then for our next one, we'll tap the plus again, and then we'll go to this color, second color, and the second row. And then we'll make another wavy line. Just do whatever, loop around, close the shape, and drag in the color and on to the next one again tap the plus for a new layer and then we'll use a different color again we'll use the darkest one over here the first color in the second row and i will make another wavy line over here our final wavy line loop around close the shape and drag in the color Next, we are going to work on our whipped cream. But first, I feel like I can make my cup a little bit thinner, a little bit longer, perhaps. And perhaps you feel the same way about your cup or not. Then you can just skip this step. But I'm going to change it a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to select all of the layers. You can do that by dragging to the right on the layers until they are all blue. Then we'll go to the Move and Transform tool, the little arrow. And while it's set to free form, you can make it a little bit thinner, a little bit longer if you like. Just want it to be a little bit thinner. And I'll move it down a little bit so we have more room for our whipped cream. I think it's okay like this. Let's tap the arrow and let's move on to the whipped cream. Let's make a layer on top of all the others. So first tap this one, then tap the plus. And now for our brush, I want to use the script brush. It's also part of the calligraphy brushes. It comes with Procreate. Now for the color, we are going to use this one over here, the third color and the third row. Now the opacity of the brush is set to 100% and the size is set to 15%. And we are going to make the first layer of whipped cream. And you might want to rotate your canvas. You might need multiple tries, don't worry. I will probably need like 100 tries and I'll just cut 99 of the tries out. I'll start here, then move to the right, then up a little, and then back here. And you can see that it's a little bit wobbly. It's not touching over here, but first let's just drag in the color. And now we are just going to fix it a little bit by going to the magic wand and then to liquify. Set liquify to push. Make sure that distortion and momentum are set to none and I have pressure set to max. And now you can just push and pull parts of this cream until it nicely touches that edge. Perhaps I can move it outward a little bit here. Here I can see that I have a little gap, so we can fix that later. So something like this looks good. Let's grab the brush, let's fix this little gap. And now we are going to make another layer of cream on top. Let's add a new layer by tapping the plus. But to be able to see this cream, we are going to grab a different color. Let's just grab this color for now, that fourth color in the third row. And this won't be the final color, it's just so we can see our cream. Start a little bit to the right here. Make a curved line to the right. 
them back, close the shape and drag the color into fill it. And again, we can definitely use liquify over here and push and pull this cream. It's just easier to correct it than to find the shape you want in one motion. All right, on to the next one. Let's go to the layer menu. Let's tap the plus and let's grab that lighter color again, that third color in the third row. And let's make another layer. Again, a little bit to the right. Rounded shape. Back up. And fill the shape. Then again, let's go to liquify. Push and pull a little bit. Just make it a little bit lower here on the right and a bit higher here on the left. All right, on to the next. Let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus, then move on to that other color again, fourth color in the third row. Now let's make another loopy. Go down. And this time again, it'll be a little bit smaller than the previous one. Drag in the color. And again, let's go to liquify. Let's push and pull it a little bit. It's a bit like sculpting our cream. And then for our final bit of cream, let's go and make a new layer again. Tap the plus, move to the different color again, third color in the third row. Let's move our canvas down just a little bit and we'll make a final whoopy here at the top. Like this, drag in the color. And I actually like the way this one looks. I do see a little gap over here. I can see a little bit of purple peeping through. So let's go to this layer, layer nine. I'm going to go to the liquify tool and I'll push this up a little bit. So that gap is gone. And then just tap the magic wand again and again. I see our coffee is a little bit high up. So let's just move it down a little bit. Let's select all of the layers again by dragging to the right on all of these and go to the move and transform tool. And let's just pull it down a little bit. Now we are going to add some texture to our cream. But before we do that, we can actually make these brown layers of cream, make them light as well. So let's drag on the color. Then on this layer as well, drag the color onto it. And I do see that this one is a little bit flat. Let's go to that one. That's layer nine over here. Let's go to the liquify tool again. Let's just pull it outwards a little bit. That's better. Now we are going to add texture to these layers. But to make sure that we don't paint outside of these shapes, we are going to turn on alpha lock. So let's tap the layer and tap alpha lock. Well, let's do that for all of these layers. You can also just slide to the right on these layers to turn on alpha lock. And let's start with the bottom one. We are going to grab a different brush, one from the treasure chest. We are going to use the spackle brush again. And then for the color, we are going to use this one over here, fourth color in the third row. And let's just go along the underside of the cream. Just the underside. We'll move on to the next one, layer nine. And again, just the underside. And we'll move on to layer 10. Add some shading there as well. Then 
the next one, layer 11. Just along the underside. Then the top one, layer 12. Again, along the underside. And to add a little bit of warmth to our cream, I also want to use the dark noise brush and a different color. Let's use this one. That second color and the second row. The opacity of this brush is still at 100% and the size is at 20%. And let's just gently glaze along that lower edge to add a tiny bit of warmth. We'll do the same for all of these layers. So first layer 11, we'll move our way down this time. A little bit of warmth, then layer 10. Do it again. Then layer nine. Trying to think of what would rhyme with nine. That would be suitable here, but I can't think of anything. Then on to layer eight. Add a little bit of warmth here as well. And then once you have added all that warmth, it's time for warm chocolate. So we can make this look even more tasty. Let's create a new layer on top of the whipped cream. Let's tap the plus. And you know what? Since I'm really happy with all of this whipped cream, we are just going to merge those layers. So let's pinch them together. And then let's set this layer to clipping mask. So our chocolate will only show up on our cream. Now for the color, we are going to use this color over here, our chocolate color, first one in the third row. And for the brush, let's go back to the calligraphy brushes and let's, let's keep using the script brush. Now let's zoom in a little bit and we'll start at the top and we are going to make that chocolate drip off of that cream. Do about here, then it will go back up. Follow that curve and up here and every time it'll follow that curve of the cream. So again over here, follow the curve, then go like this. It'll drip down over these little hills of cream. Then we'll go back up. little drip over here and then on this side it'll drip all the way down and close the shaper at the top and to make this a little bit thicker So on this side, we have curves like this, following that cream. And on this side, on the left side, they curve like this. And now once you're happy with all of these curves here, then you can just drag in the color to fill the shape over here as well. And I want to give that chocolate a little bit of volume on the outside so that it's a little bit thicker than the cream. Now to do that, first I'm going to release the clipping mask, tap the layer, then tap clipping mask. Then we'll tap the layer with the cream, then use select. And now here at the bottom, use invert. Now there's a selection of everything outside of the cream. And we can use that to go back to layer 13 with the chocolate, tap the layer and then tap clear. So it clears everything that's outside of the layer with the cream. Now we can go back with our script brush and let's add a little bit of volume here to the chocolate on this side as well. So that it's just sticking out a little bit. The next thing we'll do is add a little bit of shading to our chocolate. Now you can either do that by going to the layer and setting it to alpha lock. But if you are afraid, you might mess it up. Then you can just make a new layer on top by tapping the plus. 
and then setting that to clipping mask because that way you can easily erase the shading, adjust it a little bit or lower the opacity. It just gives a lot more flexibility than alpha lock. And for our brush, let's go to the treasure chest brush pack again and use the dark noise brush. And for our color, we are going to use this one over here, second color in the third row. And I'm going to imagine that the light is coming from this direction. So if the light is coming from here, the shadows will be on the opposite side here on the right sides. Let's make our brush a little bit smaller, 4%. And the opacity is still at 100. And let's go along the outsides here to add a little bit of shadow to this chocolate. This is where the shadow will be. And here on this side as well. It might be a little bit subtle uh, if you're looking at it in the video because of the recording. It might be a little bit darker when you see it on your own iPad. But it's giving it a little bit more of a realistic look. Now, if you like these type of illustrations, creating food, and you might like the cupcake tutorial that I have created at Patreon. There we make nice, realistic looking chocolate. Now let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's set it to 20%. And imagine how the light is coming from the top and this chocolate, it's a little bit curved. So light will hit the top, but as it curves inside, it'll have a little bit of shadow here. Very subtle but it's there. So let's darken the lower parts of that chocolate. Let's add a little bit more here. Over here as well, the undersides are a bit darker. And let's also darken the right side of this top part a little bit. And we need a little bit over here. And now let's move on to the highlights, which will really give it that chocolate look. Let's be safe and do that on a separate layer as well. So let's tap the plus and set this to clipping mask so we won't be painting outside of the shape. And now for the color, let's grab this one over here. Fourth color and the first row. Let's make the brush small again. Let's set it to 4%. And let's make highlights where the light would be hitting. Using light pressure for a little bit of a rounded highlight. And you can go over it again to make it a bit brighter. Here as well, we have a rounded little highlight that follows that curve of the chocolate. We'll make it a bit brighter in the center. And here, curved highlight as well. And a little bit brighter here. Little highlight here. And on this droplet, and over here again, follow the curve, over here as well, and this one, again, curved little highlight, a little bit brighter over here, and then on this side, just keep following those curves. And a great thing about doing this on a separate layer with clipping mask is that you can always just tap the end, lower the opacity or erase parts of the highlights you have added. You are super flexible this way. So now you can see we have a nice chocolate look, but to make it look even more realistic, we need a little shadow on the cream. So let's go to the cream layer. And over here as well, we can definitely use a layer that is set to clipping mask. So let's tap the plus, tap the layer and turn on clipping mask. So we can add a little bit of a shadow here. Let's go and check our brush. Yeah, the dark noise brush, that's the one we want. And for the color, we want the chocolate color. That first color in the third row. The brush is still at 4% in size, opacity at 100. And now let's go and zoom in a little bit and let's go along the edges where there would be shadow. 
because the light is coming from here and that chocolate is casting a little bit of a shadow on that cream. So just along the edges. Just follow that curve. Also over here. And let's also add a little bit of a shadow on this side, just a tiny one because there's more light hitting from that side so that that shadow will be very subtle. There. I also want a brighter highlight on our cup so let's go to the layer menu and create a layer on top of our cup layer. Let's tap the plus. For the brush we will go to the fine liner brush and for the color we are going to use that fourth color in the first row. The size of the brush is still at 25% opacity at 100% and I will make a bright highlight over here. We'll start with a short line here, a little bit of a longer line, short line, longer line. Now to make our coffee more playful let's put it at an angle and to do that we are going to select all of the layers again. Let's slide to the right so all of our layers are blue then go to the move and transform tool let's zoom out a little bit and then you can use this green little dot to put your your cup at an angle and maybe we can give it a little bit more volume i know i made it thinner in the beginning but i feel like we can make it a bit thicker so place it about here Maybe upward here a little bit because I need some space for a shadow later on. I think this looks good. Let's tap the arrow and now let's add a little bit of light to the background. Let's go and make a new layer. Let's first tap the plus and drag this layer all the way to the bottom. And then for our color we are going to grab the second color in the first row. And for our brush, we are going to go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. Now the opacity of this brush is set to 60% and let's set the size to 50%. And now let's lighten up the background here in the center, making rounded motions. And then to make it softer, let's go to the magic wand and then pick Gaussian blur and slide to the right. Until it's nice and soft, let's go for 40%. And we'll go to the layer menu, tap the plus for a new layer. And then for the color, we'll grab the third one in the first row. And for our brush, we will use the medium brush. The opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 4%. And now we are just going to make a little shadow here. Let's make a line over here that is a bit like this. Then just go to Gaussian Blur again under the magic wand. Gaussian Blur, slide to the right until it looks like this, 19%. I want it to be stretched a little bit, so let's go to the Move and Transform tool. Let's move up. Make sure it's at the free form and then just stretch it a little bit, place it where you want it. I'd say over here and then tap the arrow again. Now the final touch for our little friend is a face. Let's make a layer on top of all the others. Let's tap the plus. Let's go and grab a different color. This one over here, last color in the first row. And for the brush, we'll go back to the treasure chest, brush pack, and use the round chalk brush. The opacity of this brush is at 100%. Let's set the size to 40%. And let's give it to cute little eyes. Then make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's say 4%. 
and give it a tiny little mouth. You can hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape. And then we'll add a little bit of lighting effects to these eyes and mouth. Tap a layer, turn on alpha lock, and then switch the color to this one over here, fourth color in the first row. Let's first give it these little highlights, these little sparkles in his eyes, and then a little highlight along the edge here. Over here as well. And then finally in its mouth, just on the lower side, like that. And there you have your delicious and cute looking iced coffee. You should be proud of yourself. Go ahead and share your coffee. And if you haven't already, then be sure to follow the bubble tea tutorial as well, because this iced coffee needs a little friend. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial and I will see you next time.